Um, good evening. Um, I'm just going to do a video uh, this evening on um, installing a webcam. Uh, I guess not really a webcam, but an IP cam. Uh, one that I'd like to put uh, a distance away, probably about, a, mm, I'm guessing around 60 to 70 feet away from my router. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my own Ethernet cable about 60 to 75 feet obviously um, but also with the camera that I'm going to put up actually I'm going to mount it on my weather station on my roof um, got to have some kind of power to go up there with it and so what I'm going to do is I've been doing some research online about power over ethernet um, and in your ethernet cable there's two sets of wires um, that are not used and you can actually uh, inject power um, anywhere in the cable. Uh, mine will be pretty close to my router. And then you can run it through the cable up and then you can actually splice back into the wire um, where the wire comes or, or where you are going to terminate the wire. Obviously I'm going to terminate it at my webcam. And uh, I want to show you how I'm going to do that and hopefully I'll make this as quick as possible. Um, this is the webcam I'm going to use here. Um, listen, I know it's not waterproof um, I'm going to build a shelter up there, plus I'm going to uh, do some waterproofing to this camera as, as best as I can. Um, but what I did, what I want to shoot first is uh, I'm going to run a test. I've got about 800 feet of uh, Cat5 cable here. And uh, I was concerned with voltage loss. The camera uh, needs to run at 5 volts. And so... Um, I want to be sure that when I inject 5 volts uh, near the input um, that uh, 70 feet later I would still have 5 volts. And so I tested this, uh, the, the wall wart, excuse me for my mess down there, wall wart we'll call it, a little transformer. And it was putting out about 5.15 volts uh, out. And so what I did is I just kind of uh, um, ran the power through um, a couple sets of the wires there. You can see the two blue wires are positive and the two brown wires are negative. And I ran it uh, down through the cable here and through all 800 feet of the cable and uh, come up here to my multimeter and I'm still showing 5.13 volts. So I know that uh, even through 70 feet I'm not going to have uh, any uh, or very 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 little uh, voltage loss through the line. So, um, it's getting kind of late this evening, it's about 1 in the morning, so that's probably all I'm going to do for this evening, but tomorrow um, I'm going to actually splice this cord here, and uh, we'll run from the wall wart, and we'll inject the power into the Cat5 cable, run it up into, uh, onto the roof where the camera will be. We'll then cut the Cat5 cable just behind and we'll, we'll uh, extract the power cords or the, the, the two power wires out and uh, we'll actually um, then put it uh, in, in the back and I know I'm still going to have enough voltage, 5 volts, um, to run the camera and then the Ethernet cable will, will go right into here. Right, just to give everybody an update, um, had a little bit of uh, issue with voltage going through that full um, <laughs> rat's nest, full um, hundred feet of wire. Um, it was reading um, five and a half volts and one amp, but as soon as the camera powered on, there was just too much drop in there, so the camera went power on. So I found a different location, and uh, I'm only going to go about 30 or 40 feet. I already tested it. Uh, um, Everything seems to work just fine. Uh, camera worked uh, again. This is uh, this is the power supply for the cam, and I've got that coming down around and uh, feeding into the the Cat5 cable. Um, and here's the obviously the part that uh, is going to go into the router. So this will come from the router, and I'll also feed power into the two unused pair, and then it comes right back out here. And this is where the cam will hook in, and here's the power. So we'll extract the, the power from the Cat5 cable here. Um, everything is uh, um, heat shrinked well, and then even uh, just went over with some uh, tape 
electrical tape to just to make sure we got a good water tight connection. Um, here's the camera here, um, and uh, I don't care what you say, hot glue uh, is an elect uh, anybody likes to mess with electronics, best friend. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put hot glue all the way around the edge and uh, any of the parts that uh, um, may be. Um, have a chance of getting any water inside. Also, uh, I'll get inside each end of the the Cat5 cable here and make sure um, inside that around that area there is is uh, all um, hot glued and uh, as waterproof as it can be. I'll even go over this once I get outside. I'll take the gun out there and once this um, I, I plug the power in. We'll make sure that that gets some hot glue around there too, so no water gets in there. It's going to be underneath the eaves too, so shouldn't have really much issue with any weather. Um, rain and snow shouldn't get into it, but um, you know condensation will. So whatever we can do to to get that. Uh, again, I did plug it in. Uh, did have some issues, like I said, with voltage drop, but that's taken care of now. So um, I'm going to feed this through. <laughs> my other rat's nest up there. Throw all my uh, radio antennas and everything come into the house, and this will go out there at the same point, and we'll mount the camera. And i come back in just a few. All right, just wanted to do a follow-up uh, down here. Um, this uh, is my router right here, um, and you can see the cable coming out uh, here. Um, and this is uh, to my cam. And this is where I spliced my uh, my power for the cam in. Again, that just runs down into an extension cord down there. And so the power runs up. We've tied it in with our Cat5 cable. Again, the connection goes here. I can run it wirelessly if I wanted to, but uh, if I got the wire, I think it's going to be a better connection. And there's... Uh, the camera mounted and again it's underneath my eaves quite a bit however um, you know the power runs down through here comes down back through there and then down in towards the window underneath there so I had to move it down a little ways because uh, I wanted it up in the air a decent amount to see up in the air if I wanted to and uh, the overhang was uh, blocking that a little bit so that's the cam mounted. You can see uh, where I spliced uh, back in for the power. And uh, you can see where it mounts into the back of the camera there. So, And uh, just in time, boy, we've got some uh, big storms uh, starting to head our way. So um, I'll show you. Again, uh, just happened to uh, catch the right time. Got some big storms starting to develop here. We under a severe thunderstorm watch, and that's kind of why I wanted to have this cam. And uh, and there's the camera right there mounted. So again, power over Ethernet uh, worked wonderfully, and uh, um, I would recommend it as a, a real good way to run power uh, to an external device that you need to get. Um, probably not for the faint of heart. Obviously, you hook any wires wrong or. Um, something you could really destroy your modem or your cam so you really got to know what you're doing but um, it worked really well so I'm happy with it uh, there's an app that I can use with my D-Link camera so I can uh, actually look at uh, um, look at the, the cam through my phone which is kind of nice too well I hope that uh, gives you kind of a good example of uh, how to run power over Ethernet hey we'll see you guys I just uh, edited in uh, some video, uh, which you're probably just watching right now. Um, and I forgot to do a couple things here uh, I wanted to point out real quick. And uh, just watching some amateur logic uh, TV. Uh, if you, whether you're an amateur radio operator, or you like tinkering with, uh, you know, making your own cords like we are, or, you know, you do and anything with amateur radio, uh, these guys are a wealth of knowledge. They really are. They make some good shows. Uh, search YouTube for AmateurLogic.tv or you can go to AmateurLogic.tv uh, in your web browser and uh, do a search for their shows there. A lot of good knowledge. Uh, um, easily sit down and watch a couple episodes at a time and uh, good, good stuff. But what I wanted to do real quick is uh, 
I guess I didn't point out real quick uh, or go into much detail on the wiring as I'm watching the video. Um, uh, kind of got, uh, you know, thought I'd better, uh, you know, explain a little bit better, I guess. Um, these players right here are for putting in the RJ45 connectors on Ethernet. Um, relatively cheap, they're about 25, 30 bucks for a decent pair of them. And uh, those put the ends on your uh, your Cat5 cable. So this would be a part that would go into the router. And uh, notice on the, the pairs, uh, you can look online and uh, you can find directions on which each wire is um, and what they do. But I know that the blue and the light blue and the uh, brown and light brown, those wires aren't used. So that's why we pulled those for our um, power. Uh, blue, again, we use for neg or positive and the brown and dark brown we use for negative. Uh, I'm sorry, blue for positive, brown for negative. Um, another thing to note is to we cut them. So um, don't leave them attached. Uh, cut them and then we introduce our power here and then run out to the camera that way. Um, so I thought that was, uh, you know, something to go over. I didn't really uh, talk too much about that. Uh, usually I'll have a piece of shrink tubing that'll be on here first, and then two small pieces of shrink tubing here. So when I solder the leads on, we'll, then we shrink, heat shrink these, fold them down together nice and tight, and then slide the big piece of heat shrink tubing, and then uh, heat that up too. And then I even went over it with some duct tape, or I'm sorry, duct tape, uh, electrical tape. Uh, afterwards, so I just wanted to get a little bit more insight on that. Uh, I don't think I did a, a good enough job during the other video, so I wanted to throw that in there too. I uh, hope that answers any questions. So uh, we'll see everybody soon.